welcome back to the Danny Potter English Reading Show. I'm going to introduce you to the Bedstein Bears and the Missing Honey by Jane and Jane Bedstein. Do you know detectives? Yeah. It's it's like Sherlock Holmes. Do you like? Do you know Sherlock Holmes? Yeah. It. It's a character from a book. He's a very wonderful detective. And, and detective always solve cases like missing money or old, something like that, missing or found. Detectives are really interesting jobs. Brother, sister, and cousin Fred are detective the missing honey today. Let's read it together. The Bearstein Bears and the Missing Hunt by Jane and B Jane Stain and Jane Bearstein. Cool stickers. Do you like stickers? Yeah, I love stickers too. There are no case too hard, no case too tough for the bear detective. And their horn dog snuff. Missing honey. Papa's blueberry honey, blueberry, blackberry honey is not in a jar. Wh whoever took it cannot have gone far. We'll find it, Papa, Sister Bear said. When Brother Bear whistled for Cousin Fred, Cousin Fred came with his. Sniffer, sniffer hunt, snuff. He also had the detective stuff. The bear detectives look all around. There's some of the clues they found some fur, some wax, and a bit of cloth that was red and yellow. Great, said Papa. These clues will help us find the fellow. fellow. A scowl, said Mama. It's my belief he might very well have seen the thief. Too, too, said Papa. What can you say? Why, that sleepy old owl sleeps all day. That's when Snuff started sniffing the air. He is into the scent, said Papa Q Bear. Snuff smelled the blackberries. When he sniffed at the scent, ruff, snuff, they ran, and uh, and away they all went. Be careful now, said Papa Bear. That honey thief could be anywhere. Oh, the scent is coming from right over there. Oh no, said his sister. Wait, Papa, stop. That's Bird Town's fastest. Fastest, fastest shop. But Papa and Snuff burst into the room, there where the fancy shop sold blackberry perfume and many other kinds as well. What a mess! What a smell! Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry about that. Some coat," said Papa as he tipped his hat. Our search for the thief has just begun. The honey thief would be anywhere. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Hmm, yes, indeed, the candlestick maker. Bear detectives, you may relax. The key to the crime is our bit of wax. Then Papa and Snuff dash into the store and right past a gun finishing sign on the door. There's nobody here, says Cousin Fred. There's another big mess to clean up instead. The detectives were stumped. 
But then to the breeze came a scent so strong it may sniff sneeze. Ah, choo! Look at the shirt! It's red and yellow, just like the clue from the robber fellow. But Papa, the brother, that's not the shirt of uh, H A H E. The clothes on that line are the clothes of a she. Son, it wouldn't matter if it's my own mother. The thief is a thief. The thief's a thief, said, said Papa to brother. And the crook of a cane came out of from a wall. It tripped Papa up. It made Papa fall. I have something to tell you, Papa, said brother. This is Grizzly Grant's place. She is your own mother. Again, no, honey. And the spy double clue snuff sniffed Grant's blueberry stew. So they headed home, tired and sad. The three buried captives snuff and dad. But wait, has Snuff once more pick up a scent? Up the front steps of the tree house he went. Up to the bathroom, there were Ma and Pa slept into the drawer when Papa's things were capped. What is that? cried Fred. What is it, old fellow? Sniff held up something that was red and yellow. Hmm, said Fred. Now, how strange, how funny. This pajamas toss smells like blackberry honey. Here, said brother. Let me have a look. A bit of cloth matches. Was Papa a crook? Clues do not lie, Sister Bear said. Look, the fur matches too. Me, the thief, that's crazy! Shouted Pa with a low. That's when they heard a sleepy old owl. I saw the whole thing. I can put everything right. I saw Papa walk in his sleep last night. The fur. He carried a candle down to the shed, drank of the honey, and went back to bed. The cloth. The wax. I didn't dare wake up. His sleep was so deep. And then what in the thief? I woke in my sleep. A case is solved. No case is too tough for the bear detectives in our good sniffer snuff. The end. Thank you for reading this book with me. You read so good. So good, we read this book so good together. So, I give you a present. That present is this honey sticker I'm going to give you for the special reward. And I'm going to put this sticker on this page. And I remember you all for listening to me like, uh, like such a nice kid. Thank you for reading this book with me and I'm very I'm very happy the bear's time bears the bear detectives found the thief. It's a very funny story, right? Yeah. The thief is Papa, but he walked his sleep and he is a thief. The thief is sleepwalking. What a funny thing, right? This is the end of this video. You, do you want to see my more videos? No matter, you have to, you have just searched my name. Will you spell my name with me? D, D E. D E N N Y. Yeah, you search Danny. English reading show. If you search D 
E E N N Y, and English and spell show in the YouTube. You will find my my videos. Please please watch watch the other videos. I I upload upload at at the YouTube. Thank you for reading this book with me. I'll see you later. Bye bye.